But what if your dream is not big enough? What if you just got a little tiny dream? See, what if your dream doesn't include God? Wouldn't it be terrible to dream all those dreams, to have all those goals and realise you'd missed out on the most important goal of all? Wouldn't it be terrible to get to the end of your life and look back at all the things that you've accomplished and realise there was one thing you missed out and that was to fix up a great relationship with God. Does your dream include God? Because I want to tell you something, God's dream includes you. When God dreams about the future, when he dreams of what eternity will be like, he dreams of you being part of that. Now, wouldn't it be crazy if you had a dream that was smaller than God's, that your dream didn't include him, but his dream includes you? This morning, I want to introduce you to a bloke who had a dream about fixing things up with God, but was looking in all the wrong places. I'm turning to John chapter 3, and that's where we're going to stay for a while. I'll read it out to you. John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees called Nicodemus. He was a member of the Jewish ruling council. Now, you've got to understand who these Pharisees were. They were religious people. They meticulously made sure they kept every commandment that God had ever written, every phrase, every clause, and they made up whole books of things to help you keep those laws. He spent his whole life trying to get to God by obeying him, doing the right thing, and being a good little boy. In the next verse, verse 2, he came to Jesus at night, and said, teacher, we, we know you're a teacher who's come from God. No one could perform the miraculous signs you're doing if God wasn't with him. You see, Nicodemus is looking for that dream in his life. He's looking for that purpose. He wants to fix things up with God, but he's doing it the wrong way. He's trying to do it just by keeping all of God's laws and by human effort, making sure he can tick all the boxes. In fact, Nicodemus himself was a Bible teacher. He was a religious leader. And that's where he was looking to get things right. And you know, people sometimes still do that. They end up as a youth leader in church or a member of the band or a Bible study group leader. They do all these great church things and they think that somehow that's going to make them right with God. Nicodemus was a super religious leader of his day. And yet he had never discovered God. 